Aviation exists for one reason and one reason only, and that is for the Marine carrying that M16 uh, on the ground. We are there to support that Marine. The six functions of, of Marine Aviation are anti-air warfare, offensive air support, assault support, electronic warfare, command and control, and aerial reconnaissance. And those six functions only exist to support our brothers on the ground. The different aircraft within the Marine Corps are fixed wing and rotor wing. Among the fixed wing are F-18s, C-130s, Prowlers. Rotary wing consists of Hueys and Cobras, Ospreys, just to name a few. There's a tendency for pilots to fall in love with whatever machine they, they get uh, selected for. When people ask what the best aircraft is in the Marine Corps, of course it's always going to be the Huey. That's the one I fly. What I like about the Huey is its versatility. It, no matter if it's resupplying the troops on the ground, inserting and extracting patrols, we can mount a variety of weapons on our aircraft, uh, four different types. So we can shoot a 240, we can shoot two varieties of 50 cal, and then we can shoot a GAL 17, which is basically a minigun that shoots 7.62 at about 3,000 rounds a minute. The CH-53 is the uh, MAGTAF commander's heavy assault support asset. We uh, bring the heavy equipment from ship to shore as well as uh, Marines. Typically armed with two 50 caliber machine guns in the left and right window as well as we're capable of putting an additional 50 cal on the, the ramp for cover to the rear of the aircraft. We're the only close air support or attack rotor wing aircraft in the Marine Corps. I've been flying Cobras for eight years and I learn something new every day. A new tactic, a new technique, a different way to solve a problem. The Harrier is what's called a jump jet. It can go from perfect flight to a 90 degree hover within a few seconds. The Harrier is unique in that our number one mission is close air support. We have the ability to drop our ordnance, drop our bombs very close proximity to where we want them to be. B-22 retains the capability of helicopters, but then uh, brings with it capabilities that normally a turboprop airplane have, like fly at higher altitudes and fly at higher air speeds. If you're the crew chief, you're really in charge of the aircraft. We have to know all of the systems of the aircraft, how to fix them if something goes wrong, how to troubleshoot in the air. So we're a big help to the pilots with that. When we're deployed, we do a lot of troop transportation, cargo transportation. We also have the GAL-16 and GAL-17 on the ramp in case we need to defend ourselves. The great thing about the KC-130 is the versatility that it provides. It's got short field takeoff and landing capabilities. Fly slow enough that we can refuel helicopters. The air delivery capabilities are exceptional. This is the FA-18 aircraft Delta model, which means it's a two-seater. It's got a uh, pilot and a backseater. The backseater is the weapons guy. We uh, load the ordnance up. We got the, the fuelers fueling. We got PCs getting the jet started. Pilots taking off and basically you have that small window with aircraft landing, loading them up and they're taking right back off and it's just that fast. It's amazing some of the things that these Marines can do. We entrust them with multi-million dollar aircraft. I mean, that's not something that the average 18 to 20 year old out there gets to do. You know, the pilots depend on them. We're in charge of making sure this aircraft is up and running at all times. Everything ties into us. It's my job to make sure the bird is going to fly. Everything that we preach is attention to detail every single day because one minor slip up could be a major mishap for the crew, for the pilots, and for the aircraft all together. It's all part of the big picture. I fix the helicopter, the helicopter goes out and completes the mission. That to me is the most important. Every time we launch aircraft in support of anybody that's out there in the desert or anywhere else in the world, I mean, it, it, it's a feeling that I can't really explain, you know. Um, it's amazing. When you're doing a ground fight, your best friend is somebody up there flying above you. They can see a lot of things a lot farther and get there faster than we can. When I see a little go over, I'm like, that's ours, that's a good day. 